Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Blurry Dave back with a Le with another Lego Marvel set for you guys. And today, I'm happy to show you guys the Infinity Saga set of the Avengers Quinjet from Marvel's The Avengers. This really takes me back to 2012 when Lego revised, you know, Marvel sets um, or revived. Sorry, <laughs> uh, getting too excited here. Um, and I remember just like the first wave of sets. Like, all I could ever think of was just the Avengers ones, and this reminds me of that original Quinjet from 2012. And it's got some of the same minifigures from the set. Like, in the original, um, it had Iron Man, what was it, the Mark Seven in there? Of course, it comes in here. You got your boy Thor, and of course, Loki came in every one of the sets, and then Black Widow. I think it was just those four, if I remember correctly. Or was there more Chitauri? Uh, I don't know, but, um, so this is a $100 set, and you guys know me, I, I rarely get any $100 sets in general. If they look cool, if I want to display them in my collections, then, uh, I'll get them. So this set is recommended for ages 9+, plus. set number 76248, it has 795 pieces, it feels like a 1,000, and, uh, comes with five minifigures, Iron Man, Black Widow, Captain America, Thor, and Loki, um, one of the main reasons I wanted this set is because of that new Captain America minifigure. Like, he is so cool. I'm happy, like, I love it when Lego acknowledges, like, after when a movie or TV show comes out, they they do the actual um, costumes for the minifigures. Because everyone knows that Lego sets, when they come out before a movie in general, like, they're based off of concept art. And, of course, I love Tony Stark on there. Um... So yeah, here's the set itself and the minifigures. So why don't we get started and uh, talk about them for a little bit. So here is my boy, Steve Rogers, a.k.a. Captain America. Like I said, like they really nailed it out of the park with this minifigure. Like, I love the details on it. And they, they went with the helmet mold from the Endgame sets four years ago. There's the back. And even the shield is still the same. And, um... His face is a little bit pale, but they've gotten a little bit better. Um, again, they went with the endgame route, except uh, he comes with two different facial expressions. So there's like his happy smirk, and there's like his, his battle face. Now, I do want to say one con I have with this, and I think everybody is on board with this. Lego should have added Hulk and Hawkeye, to, just so that it makes sense. Because, you know, you got to have the original six members of the Avengers... But I'm sure Lego will come out with um, another set with those two, or hopefully all of them. So here is Tony Stark, Iron Man himself, and the beautiful Mark Seven. Come on, camera, you gotta focus. There we go. So this isn't the first time that Iron Man's got his helmet upgrade. It was actually last year in a couple of sets, and uh, I'm happy that I got my hands on the new helmet mold. And like, yeah, look at the details on this. I only show you like the one face and I can take the helmet off because as you all know what Lego loves to do with the current Iron Man's they love reusing the same face. So there's that. Ah, oh, crap. So um here he has his uh those flick fire hand things. I don't know what to call them. And here's some more blue pieces and this part here actually goes on the Quinja here, so I'll show you that in a little bit. And he does come with his hairpiece, so yeah, I can't wait to show you guys this. Next up is Thor, son of Odin. <laughs> and of course, they went with that bro Thor face from uh, the 2022 sets. <clears throat> Actually, not 2022, 2021, I meant. And I still want to get my hands on the first Thor. Um, Thor 1 minifigure that they came out with a set last year. Again, I'm not going to show you the faces because you guys know what uh, what Lego loves to do when recycling minifigure faces. And he comes with Mjolnir and he finally has that shiny armor. So that's pretty cool. 
Here's Natasha Romanoff, Black Widow herself. She's looking pretty cool, but I guess you guys can know subtle differences between her, Thor, and Cap. I should have pointed this out. They all don't have leg printing. Would have been nice if she had leg printing. At least, like, what LEGO got right is that, like, of, of course, like I said early on with concept art, like, in the original set with Black Widow, they gave her long hair, which you guys know in the movie she doesn't have long hair. They pretty much got that concept from Iron Man 2, but thank God they, they got her right. And of course she's got her sticks, which she doesn't really use in the movie. And just like with Black Widow, Lego loves to recycle her face. So again, I'm not going to show you guys. I'm going to spare you guys all that. Alright, now to the last minifigure. And here is Loki, our fourth version in the Lego MCU. Um, yeah. Um, this one is definitely a bigger improvement than the 2012 one. Even the helmet is more shinier than the original. I guess what I've hated, one of my biggest cons for the original sets was that Loki came in every one of the sets, like I mentioned. Like, how many extras do you want to give to kids, Lego? Hopefully they don't do that anymore. Um, and they gave him the proper staff, which is where the Mind Stone is in. guys can see that um here I'll, I'll pause the video quick to show you another cool feature here so here's the second phase this is when they shut him up at the end of the movie again this is the perfect movie to watch if you want to see the avengers kick loki's ass especially hulk when he tossed him around but this makes me more excited for season two of loki this year can't wait and as you can see he has his hair piece so here is the Quinjet itself. I, I built this a lot faster, but it took me maybe like, what, hour and a half, two hours to build this? But this is pretty cool. Um, if you notice on the box here, yeah, they show, they have the Avengers stickers on here. But on the box, it also shows you, like, you could put either the shield ones on or the Avengers one. But, you know, just to stay movie accurate, I had to put the shield ones on because, you know, obviously commercialism with the Avengers logo, like, I, I have to keep it simple i'm a classy guy uh, but you do get a crap ton of stickers here for sure so here's our cockpit area here's here's a little black stand here i want to show you quick they done that with the guardian ship uh there's some stickers in there the control panel so it looks like you could put too many figures in there there's the sides here i don't know what this does that just moves <laughs> and uh, this is one long hatch look at that cool so they have six chairs so i can imagine if lego's gonna make another set with hulk hopefully they'll make a a bruce banner um accurate to the movie so they could put him in there um you know i like one of those combination sets you know like you know what i mean yeah that's pretty cool and these little flaps here you can move Here's some other flaps. <laughs> this is this set is just so flappy, ain't it? <laughs> Alright, so here's the back. Where Captain America jumps out and he says, There's only one guy, ma'am. I'm pretty sure it doesn't dress like that. I don't know if you could see in the cockpit, there's like a walkie-talkie, handcuffs, a wrench, and some binoculars. I don't really have a flashlight, but if you guys can see that, let me know. Um... What else? And here's like these other little flaps down here. Let's see. I want to be careful with this. Okay, so if you could see that little square, that's where that thing goes. And I want to open the wheels for you guys to sh just to show you here quick. Okay, guys, so here are our wheels. And just a little reminder, this is actually my second Quinjet I've ever owned, so I don't I don't have a lot of Quinjets. So here are wheels that like you could like position if you don't want to have it on the stand here. But I don't know what this thing here is for. Like, yeah, we're gonna close it up. I just thought I would show you guys what that is. And yeah, here's Stark on the side of the wing here, so it looked like uh, he's flying. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty cool. I like this. Um, also, these flaps here, what, what are their purpose here? Like, the box doesn't really show much anymore. Like, these new sets, they don't show much of what their set's purposes are anymore. So, I need a little more context on that. 
But yeah, overall this is a pretty cool set. If you want to display it on here or if you want to put it on your ceiling, go ahead. That can be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, Stark on that top spine there. Um, and here's the back. Yeah, yeah. there's that option where you can put the Avenger stickers on or the Shield stickers on. It, even in the instructions, they, they only show like the Avenger stickers, but you know what? You, you can put them on however you want. So yeah, you get a crap ton of pieces with a stupid brick separator. And uh, here are the sheets. Like th This was the Shield one that I used. Here's the Avengers one, so I'm definitely going to keep that. Here's the instruction booklet. It doesn't really show anything about the new sets. But what should have... I should have been reminded about this is that big sets like this come in like stuff like this. <laughs> but yeah, not bad for a hundred dollar set. You know, this, you know, this is accurate. You know, most a hundred dollar sets I've seen or, or I've gotten in the past, like this is accurate. Like make people's money's worth it for buying this set Lego. And I'm happy that you did that.